Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to tell you guys, well today is the story time and I'm going to be telling you guys about the time that I got burnt with hot oil when I was back in Nigeria. Okay, so if you don't know this, I got burnt with hot oil when I was back in my country, Nigeria. And my whole head got burned. My whole face was burned. My hands got burned. My shoulder. I got burned basically almost everywhere. Um. It's like this. I used to live in Nigeria when I was about nine years old. My mother owns a grocery store where she sell like you know grocery store basically but the kind of grocery store back there is different from the ones that are here so in the evening my mother would like fry um she would do like a fast food basically for the university student because the store that she owns was in the campus was on the university campus so most of her target were basically student and when they coming out of class they want fast food you know they just get it and go um so every every day my siblings and i will basically we go to my mother's store and help her out from like the time that we get out of school to the time to about i'll say one o'clock or two o'clock at night and then we gotta wake up and do the same thing i i was nine years old but i still like go to the um supermarket for my mom i was that smart but yeah so one special night or oh, not so special one night um i got very very sleepy and i asked my mother i was like can i go to sleep and she said yes go ahead go to the, go to go to sleep but go inside the store and he, i i went ahead i went, I went into the store when i went inside i saw a cat the cat had green eyes and it was dark in there. There was no light. I'm scared of cats. I never like cats. For some reason, they just kind of scare me. I, I don't like their vibe. So when I saw the cat in the dark and his eyes were like glowing or he, he or she, um, I got very scared. And I was like, I'm not about to sleep in here because I don't know what is going to happen. The cat might come and scratch me when I'm sleeping. So... I got up, I went outside of the store. My mother was like frying stuff on this side and we had like big tables. They like pretty, with the table she puts the grocery stuff like the beans, the rice, the um, tomatoes, you know, veggies, everything, fresh stuff that she doesn't like cook. The stuff that day you could just buy and go and prepare your stuff. So, um... I came out of the store and I went and put a mat. There's a mat that you lay down. I went and put it under. The, I'm kind of jumping off the story. My mo Usually when my mother is done like frying the stuff, she would take take it off. The, she, she would take the pan and put it on a round stone. Because we had this stone that she like placed the pan there so that the oil will cool off so my mom took it and where she usually put it at and i'm under the table laying down my older sister had my little sister on her back so she um i guess she got tired and decided okay she's gonna take my little sister off of her back and lay her with me so she laid my little sister next to me we were sleeping all fast asleep what and what and um they were packing because it was about time for them to like for us to go home so they were basically packing the stuff and putting it back into the store because usually we would pack the stuff at night put it back in the store and then when we come back the next day we put it out and display whatever so they were doing that packing the stuff and all of a sudden out of nowhere no one knows when if someone pushed the oil or if someone you know or something hit the oil no one knows what happened all of a sudden the oil just went it was very hot
still hot. I think she probably just placed it there and then like three minutes later it just fell. And the worst thing, it fell right on us, me and my little sister. Oh. Um, all of a sudden, got up so fast. I'm screaming, crying, trying to like, whatever pain I was feeling, I'm trying to like rip it off of my face and my body. And I'm literally peeling my skin off of my body. You know, they told me that I had like, my skin was basically everywhere on the floor because I was just peeling. I was in so much pain. I'm rubbing my face, my body, crying, um, calling God, calling pastor. There's this pastor and my mom used to watch. We all watch together. His He like heals people, you know, people that are like crippled, blind and all that. He heals them, so I'm crying, you know, telling my mom, call Pastor Chris, call Pastor Chris, take me to Pastor Chris. Just crying, going nuts. And my mom was screaming. Um, the students that were there, actually, there were students in class because we were, my mother still was very close to um, a class, like this big building of where the students um you know study especially the ones that go to like evening classes um, they could hear and everyone came out people were just you know it was crazy people were just going crazy um you know screaming take them to the hospital do something people try to pour water i felt when they were like pouring water on me you know just to like cool it off but nope 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 that was not helping at all so um they rushed us to the clinic which was very close to my mother's store it's probably like i don't know two minutes or three minute drive there so we got there there was no doctor it was only the nurses and the nurses couldn't do anything so they like a russian trying to like call or find a doctor to come and i'm just here crying and i'm still calling telling my mom to call pastor chris and I'm just crying. I'm wondering. I was like, why isn't she calling him? What is going on? She needs to take me to him now. I need him to be here. He needs to pray for me. I need to get out of this pain. What not. But um, while I was crying, I heard someone else crying very, very loud. And it sounded like a little person. And I'm like, who is this little person? Like, I don't know. All of a sudden, I, um, I don't know. My sister just kind of clicked in my head. I turned around, I'm crying, and I turned around. What I saw was horrific. It was my little sister. My little baby sister was, I think she was probably two years old or four at the time. Um, I saw my little face. Her face was like peeled off. And I tell you, I don't know if you guys have ever seen anyone get burned, like freshly burned, how it looks. It's not very pleasant. Um, I turned around. I saw my little sister's face, and I just went nuts. I I couldn't even cry for myself at this point. I was not crying at all for myself. I was just crying for my sister. I felt so bad for her. I'm just imagining the kind of pain I am in, and then she's just like two, four years old, and she has to go through the same thing that I'm going. So I started crying for my little sister. And I was like, save her, save her, because I thought we were going to die. I thought I was going to die. At some point, I actually wanted to die. I was like, why am I still alive? So um, the doctor still wasn't there, so they had to rush us to um, one of the biggest hospitals that was close to us. Um, we got there. When we got there, I was in so much pain that I ended up passing away. I just passed out. <laughs> I say passing away. I fainted. Um... I don't know what happened you know when you faint your basically your body doesn't feel any pain anymore it's just kind of like dying slowly whatever uh, so yeah I passed out thing I know is um, I guess the next day and then it got up again crying it was just horrible and they had to like pill they have to pill off the skin the burn skin and whatnot my eyes was shut i couldn't i couldn't open my eyes rose down my back 
right? Um, but the doctors and the nurses couldn't tell that I got burned on my head until like a couple of days later, they noticed that my head was getting really big and they were like, what is wrong? Cause I would just keep crying. I don't know which part of my body hurt. They decided to take off the braids that I had on my head. Um, yeah, when they took it off, they realized that basically 95% of my whole head was like burned and they had to like cut shave the head. I will post a picture of how you could tell that I have cornrows on my head right now. So yeah, that's how my head looked like um, burnt and you could tell the like the kind of rows of hair that's the part that didn't get burned but everything else got burned um yeah so we was at the hospital for I don't know um I believe it was four months before we got discharged and people would like stare at me when they see me they would just like stare like or just kind of look at me very nasty looking way and I started being very um I will get very very sad and I started being so rude to people so every single time someone would look at me I would curse them out I would just like say something rude and <laughs> sometimes people kind of get scared because they thought I was like crazy or something that's real so we got discharged four months later we got discharged finally able to go home but going home wasn't even very exciting because um, I couldn't go out. I was scared to go out. I was going to scare the neighbors, kids. And when I, one of my neighbors, he came in. I, we used to play together. He came into my house. And when he saw me, I tell you, he ran away crying like a little girl screaming. And they were like, what happened? What happened? He was like, Shalom, Shalom. She looks different. That's like, he basically did not believe that it was me. He didn't believe. He was just like, no, that's not Shalom. He was crying. He was like, she looked like a monster. <laughs> she looked like a monster. My aunt, you know, my aunt heard about what happened to us. They sent her pictures of the incident because she lived here in America at the time when we was back home. So my aunt, um, fought her way i'm gonna kind of feel like i'm about to cry again i don't want to my aunt fought her way to get a visa getting visa in nigeria is very very hike we travel back and forward from lagos to abuja to the embassy trying to get visa it took us so long to get the visa and one of the reasons why we got the visa is because we were coming for a uh, for surgery so we got to america my aunt fought again she was going back and forward um trying to raise money and trying to get a hospital that would accept us and you know do surgery on us for basically no charge um because she felt you know as um females we're gonna grow up you know thinking that no one is gonna want us so we're gonna have a hard time getting married finding someone you know to get married to godly we got a hospital shrine hospital did a couple of surgeries um i don't really like touching the right side of my ears this side right here i don't like touching it because the kind of i don't know for some reason it kind of feels fake or when i touch it it's like gonna fall off it is my real ears but because i got in surgery done around my ears because my ears was like joined together with my head so they had to like separate that and this bump right here this one right here i don't know you can really see it probably can but yeah i got burned all over my face but I don't have this bump, of course, everywhere because this side of my face, I was scratching it when I, that was the, that was the, um, 
this night that I was really scratching when I got burned out just um I got bullied very very often in middle school it was terrible I always had a scarf on um I had a wig on but I always put a scarf because I'm scared that one day one of you know those bullies will pull my <laughs> my wig off and everyone would know that I'm bald and that I don't have any hair but yeah i made it through i do i did have a couple of like suicide thoughts i literally wanted to die because when i look at my my um when i look at what happened to me and i look at what have had happened to other people i really thank god i just be grateful to whatever you have whatever situation you are in because you really 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 never know what someone else might be going through i met a lot of people um that you know were um that got burned were basically in kind of similar condition as me but their condition was really worse than mine and i'm just like wow i had it so good and i was being ungrateful you know yeah thank you guys so much for coming back and watching my video i hope this inspired you in some type of way to just appreciate the life that you are that you have been given and live every day to the fullest and do that so comment below like the picture like like the video and share